Okay. And then we just end the episode. Alright. Sounds good. Alright, I'd th say we do... And then we, we put hit that jab jack. Alright. Hey, you so... go like this. Hit that jab jack. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one, start. Alright, we're back. That was really abrupt. Sorry about that. For all you <laughs> people who were looking forward to a really long episode, that was not one. <laughs> that was not one of them. But don't worry. There, there might be more. May Maybe. or may not. <laughs> it depends on my mood. Spoiler alert, there will definitely be more. Nathan! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I never understood the point of those. It's like, let's have a piston that just jack. Nintendo knew what they were doing there. <laughs> Come on, Eric. They knew what they were doing. No one else did, but they knew what they were doing. Uh, I don't. You ever notice the musical like occasionally like glitch out? Yeah. Huh. I wonder if it's because the looping is weird or because we're doing this on an emulator. They already freaking know. Oh. Um, but I, I don't know why that is. It just like does it occasionally. It'll like derp. Derp. You know what we need to bring in here? What? Water. Yes. I say after this uh, episode is done, we go um Take a break. Take a five minute. We grab the uh, chips and the water and the beverage. We'll do it live. We will not do that live. Just like walk out of the room, everyone's just sitting there like, what? <laughs> As if there's like a live audience. Fuck. We have the, we have like the studio laughs. Just play the laugh track every da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Where the heck am I going? I don't even know anymore. Oh god. Okay. What? Nothing. <laughs> I'm just thinking about putting like laugh tracks every like three seconds, even when we're saying like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what? Wait, wait, laugh! <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm dying inside. I have cancer. Laughter! Laughter, stop! No, stop! <laughs> Editor, stop! Don't put that in! No! Editor, stop! Ah! <laughs> oh no! Okay. Okay. Whoever Nathan. What? Put put laughter in like copious amounts of laughter <laughs> that just gets louder and louder throughout that sequence. Okay. Will do. You are now Barry. Stop <laughs> referencing successful YouTube channels, Eric. I can't help it. <laughs> what's next? Are we gonna start calling people our bros? Is that no. what's next, Eric? No. Is that what's next? I will never call anyone a bro. Unless they're actually a bro. Am I a bro? You are the truest of true bros. True bro. The sequel to true crime. <laughs> Also, the sequel to True Blood, but just just not at all related. <laughs> it's a sequel to both. Yes. Coming s coming soon to a VCR near you. Here's a secret. Secrets. Good job. You found this. Except it's not a secret, it's like really freaking obvious. Break this wall here. <laughs> In this manner. Now, there is one that is not so obvious. It's here. It's a speed run. Okay, now I'm gonna demonstrate to you how I'm going to do this later once I get the speed run. Okay. Okay. So, actually, um... Okay, we'll look at the map. Alright, so, 
We'll just I'll just try and center it. See that dot there, right in the center? What dot? The dot on the map. Right there in the center. There's That's two. okay, the one on the left. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, I'll start on the one on the right, run to the one on the left, hold like crouch to get a shine spark going. Run okay. Uh run through the to the room next door. Blow a hole in it. Run back. Crouch <laughs> jump, crouch, ball, go through here. And then there's like an area in there where I have to do like the super complex sequence thing. And then I do, and then you can shine spark all the way across that tunnel and into there. It's insane. It's like the one of the hardest items in this game to get. And it's literally just a missile tank. Yeah, I mean, it's like you can get it. It, it basically lets you get the missile tank far earlier than you should. Actually, I think it's, yeah, it's up there. Can't get oh, it. Oh, you yet. have a, uh, what? there's an energy tank. Yeah, I can't get it yet, though. Oh. That sucks. Metroid, everyone. Yeah, doing that is, uh, that's the super complex, uh, speed, uh, sequence break I was talking about earlier. The one that I always try to do at least once. Have you ever done it? Yes, multiple times. Okay, cool. Like, it basically just makes, makes, um... Now we go down to Creed. It makes everything easy. We need to come up with a stupid name for this one, too. Laid. <laughs> Lays. <laughs> yeah, Lays chips. That's why Creed's so fat. Yes. Cool. I like it. This weird pink fungi like it too. They are the beast. Yeah. <clears throat> so you do realize that there's gonna be like there's like a ton of silence in this. I oh, know. Yeah, I mean there's it's inevitable. That's why I suggested we talk about other stuff besides the game, because the game will eventually run about run out of stuff to talk about. <laughs> uh, I didn't think you were serious. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh boy. I there's a sequence I'm looking forward to seeing how your computer reacts to. It's it's here. And it's where there's like 30 enemies on screen. Oh boy. Okay, so like, in your opinion, what do you think of this game's soundtrack so far? It's... It's very similar to the other Metroid games, so I like it. Because I'm a huge fan of the Metroid soundtracks, like... All of them. Yeah. Like, holy cow. It's... They're, they're great. Whoever, whoever composed the Metroid soundtracks did a really good job. I, don't, I just don't know his name off the top of my head. Oh yeah, uh, those aren't on yet. Um... Uh, I, speaking of like the Metroid soundtrack, I went to a, uh, I went to the the video game concert that you lucky mother. That I had to pay like seventy bucks to go. Was it worth it? It was definitely worth it. Um, I have a couple funny stories related to that, and I'll I'll tell them. Um, but speaking of the Metroid soundtrack, the like when they went yeah. up to perform the Metroid soundtrack, yeah, uh, the dude gave like some like the premise behind what the the composer wanted to convey. He said he wanted to make it sound like, because the game is like super like mysterious and like sci-fi. Yeah. And he like, like lonely. He wanted to make it have like, he wanted to make it have, be incredibly atmospheric, 
and almost sound like alive. What the f were his uh Okay. Control was locked up for a sec, that was weird. Um Continue. But yeah. And it, it was like super cool because like now that I have like now that I hear that, I go back and listen to the soundtrack and it sounds like that. Like he did a really good job conveying yeah. what he wanted to. First mini boss coming up here. Oh cool. The acid worm. That uh that weird centipede worm thing you fought to get a charge beam was not a mini boss? Well, I mean like This is this is his smaller cousin. Okay. Now remember it. <laughs> I don't remember. Use missiles. You gotta use the missiles. Um, okay, but the other funny story from the uh, game soundtrack was uh, they played the uh, World of Warcraft soundtrack, and at the beginning yeah. of the uh, at the beginning of the concert, the the conductor was like, "All right, just like clap." You this isn't like one of those concerts where you gotta like sit sit still and be really quiet. Yeah. Just like clap if you hear something you like, or like cheer and stuff. And so you know people would, people would do that periodically. Yeah. But when they started playing the World of Warcraft soundtrack, three rows of people in the back all shout out in unison, Leroy. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. And it was fantastic. And for the uh. They did the Skyrim soundtrack, and they had, like, an actual, uh, like, uh, like, they had, like, a whole live choir for it, and the dude was like, yeah, and here's a song that was composed entirely in a language that no one can understand. Enjoy! <laughs> <laughs> he was, like, a super funny dude. It was, it was great. He been one of those people who'd just be awesome to like sit down and talk to. He was he just had an incredible sense of humor. He was great. Alright, so you got another one of those. Yep. Acid boss worm. I don't he's Good commentary, Eric. <laughs> ten out of ten. <laughs> I at this fucking rip. <laughs> We're gonna reverse that and we're like summoning <laughs> demons. Uh, what is Oh okay. What what is there any like like what I don't know, what was your favorite song that was played at the video game soundtrack? Oh, definitely the um They I think it's tied between uh their rendition of Magmore Caverns and their uh version of Gerudo Valley from Zelda. <laughs> Because they actually had people with like um, ah, it was like a it was like a bunch of mandolin players doing it, and it was great, and it it was super cool. And then they had like the cellos and like a full like brass. It was like a huge orchestra. I think I um, they did, I it was a they did a super good job arranging all the songs, but like the Magmore Caverns theme they did um. That's the one where it's like, bah, yeah. Bum, ch, ch, yeah, that one. Um, oh god, oh god. It, like, I, oh imagine, god. I imagine the trumpet soundtrack was like, forte, 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 forte. Because it was just like blaring trumpets all the time. And, then the, and then the one Ow. dude on the timpani in the back was just like, <laughs> <laughs> It was super cool, because he had like the, the he had like the one gigantic timpani, and they had the, the smaller ones around him, yeah. so he would like hit him and get different tones. Yeah, you know, like you do with a timpani. And uh, traditionally, yeah, <laughs> traditional timpani, timpani playing procedure. If you were to hit those, would you like let go and fall into the asses that's so good for your pores? <laughs> you, you just said if you hit those, would you fall into the asses? I tried to say acid, but... You said asses. But I dubbed this episode asses that are good for your pores. Yeah. Don't fall into the asses. Oh, good lord. Oh, lord. 
Oh, he's turning. Oh, oh boy. He's like a chameleon. Oh, he exploded. He's like an explodey chameleon. I'm too good for him. Oh, Hold there's on. another one. First of all, I want to go up here. I'm guessing you have to beat him before that door will. Yeah. I don't really need to go out here, um, yet. Um, well, I do I want to get this. Yeah, was, this is like, this room's only purpose. And then do this. What? Yep. The poor acid disappeared! The poor asses. Oh. Poor asses. Oh boy. Oh boy, this one's a fun one. We're going, we're going to get as many percent as possible. Okay. I like this idea. Okay, what did, what did that do? Oh, I see. I see, I understand. Yes, I, I do understand completely. No, you, you don't, you don't do, you don't do that one. You do that one, yes. I gotta get them all. Yep. Yeah, Can you... Would you be able to kill those, uh, turtle yeah. things with that? Do you have to? No. See, I just did it. I just did it. Because I'm just that good. Alright, but like, to get... Oh, that's cool. That is awesome. I Why like did they that. say this one was tricky? It was not the slightest. It just kind of took a little bit. So there's two ways to get to Kraid. Okay. I think. No, actually, there's only one. Never mind. I'm an idiot. <laughs> See, these enemies, because they take more than one hit, the whole chargey spin thing doesn't work. Yeah. Oh. As I like to call it, they call it the poor man's screw attack. Okay. Who calls it that? Me. <laughs> no one else? No. It's a relatively clever name. Good job, Eric. Well, it's what it is. It's basically the screw attack before you have the screw attack. Stop! Screw attack is like late game, right? Yeah. Ooh. Unknown item. Mysterious. Except for if you played Super Metroid, you know exactly what the heck that is. What is it? It's the space jump. Okay. Oh, that's cool. How close are we to the end of the game right now? Not even close. Alright. Wait. You should totally, like, cut the episode off, like, right now. Alright. And then go get some, some drinks. Bye! Fare thee well, gentlemen! They're frogs. You're captured. Those are both definitely not frogs. They're simply, like, frog snails. No! They're not crabs. Those are crabs. They're <laughs> definitely crabs. They're, uh... I know, I know crabs. They're bootleg crabs. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.